I have some good news to report this morning. Let's start right here. The Free Stellar Blade petition started by Mark Kern actually ended up being successful. Here are the headlines. Stellar Blade PS5 quietly adds uncensored new costumes in controversy aftermath. So just a little bit of a recap in case you weren't aware. When Stellar Blade dropped, they censored two outfits. They said that they didn't. Shift Up tried to claim that it was always the attention to change these, and this is their actual vision, when clearly that's not the case. Sony is very likely to have told them to change these two outfits, which really does just never made much sense because there are outfits in the game that really are a little bit more revealing than these two. But they were changed, and it didn't sit over very well with people because one of the appeals for this game, and this is what people don't get, it's it's more of the principle because one of the appeals with this game was that, oh, in the day and age of censorship and Abby's on Last of Us 2, we're giving you a beautiful female character with a very sexy physique. And they ran with that. And then they censored two outfits and really didn't say much about it. And, of course, people found out about it. And it put a bad taste in people's mouths. Well, they have now walked that back and put the original suits in the game. So, I think a lot of that had to do with this petition hitting 90,000 subscribers. That's crazy. And it worked. It was effective. And I got to say congratulations to Grums who kicked this off and to you, the people who signed it. I think that your voices have been heard. And, of course, there's there's salt flowing from this, and we'll get to that. Uh, here are the details. So this is from Niche Gamer. Stellar Blade returns uncensored outfits following fan campaign. And here's what you have to do. So you get the game. You have to go to the dealer and craft them, but it's very easy to do from what I've been told. Uh, you'll be able to get them. And the other versions, the censored versions, are in the game. So you have a choice. It's just more choice now. But this is how it should have been from the beginning. And I'm glad that they that they put them back in there. So this is a win. And now that they've done this, I will play Cellar Blade. So I've picked it back up. As you know, I had the game, and I returned it to Amazon because I hadn't opened it yet. And some people will say, well, that's stupid because it's just these two outfits, but it's it's more of the point. It's the point that they ran with this game being uncensored. They made a big deal about it, said the game would be uncensored in every region, and then they censored outfits and then walked it back and lied about it, said that that was always their intention. I wasn't buying that bullshit, so I sent the game back. I really didn't think that they would do this, but since they did... I'm going to pick the game back up, and now I'm going to play it. So thank you for li for listening to people, which is something that a lot of companies don't do. So here's some salt over from Forbes, Paul Tassi. A pretty, pretty okay game journalist sometimes, and then sometimes he's just doing shit like this. So he's salty that they added these back into the game. Because, of course, he is. Of course, he is. It's down here where it says uncensored outfits. And he's talking about how it's like a conspiracy and it's dumb. The free Stellar Blade social media campaign is, is a particular crowd. They demanded this. And then... They get it back, and this is what he said. 
I said when this was all unfolding that I figured Shift Up would eventually do something like this, either changing the original outfits or doing what they're doing here. They are a company that is absolutely forthright with about their intention to make sexy characters and demands that outfits weren't sexy enough in a game full of extremely sexy outfits was probably going to lead to them going, okay, sure, whatever. Here are sexier versions, so here we are. The bad part of this is that the culture war folks here have been rewarded for their, frankly, ridiculous campaign, lambasting this game, the developers, Sony, everyone for the original outfit changes are some, for for the original outfit changes as some sort of conspiracy, which did not exist. Are you kidding? That's a joke, right? I thought you were a journalist, Paul. All you have to do is a little bit of research, and you'll see that Sony has made lots of changes. There's a reason that people laugh at the fact that Nintendo will put out uncensored versions of games that are censored in some capacity on the PlayStation format. That's a real thing. A real thing. So when a game like this gets censored, yeah, people naturally assume Sony told them to do it. There's a lot of examples, especially in those visual novel anime games. A lot of those, if they're on PlayStation, have been censored, but the PlayStation version is uncensored. Or not the place, the, the Nintendo Switch version is uncensored. It's happened a few times now. So to say that this is a conspiracy is bullshit. There's a reason that people think that Sony told them to do it. It's pretty believable considering their history. And that's fucking disingenuous to say that that's not the case. And, of course, it's a bad part that the culture war folks have won because these people hate it, hate it when customers get what they want. They hate it when companies listen to you because you're supposed to, they're supposed to listen to them. So... Yeah, it is a win, and it's it's great, and it's it's great that you're salty about it. You say you aren't, you aren't, but the fact that this is in here and your whole tone here proves you're salty about it. So cope, cope, Paul. The outfits themselves are fine. Again, there are a dozen outfits, at least this revealing in the game. But being this being a reward for this group and their behavior is not a great look. So. The salt is going to flow from this, I'm sure, and I'll be here to laugh at it. I'll be here to laugh at it for sure. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Will you be picking Stellar Blade up now? Give me your thoughts. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.